very flooded out here. We are at Ambassador Caffrey, um, on Ambassador Caffrey and uh, near Dulles, uh, Dulles Drive. And it's very, very flooded out here. The police are out here. You can't really see them right now, but the police are out here. They have closed this road um, just for this span uh, right here by the Burger King and Popeyes and Winn-Dixie over here. The, the water is pretty high. And as you can see, uh, police are turning all the trucks and all the uh, different cars around. Not seeing very many uh, residents uh, coming this way, but we are seeing lots of uh, tr trucks uh, delivering, uh, looks like groceries and different things, and also a lot of tow trucks, looks like rescuing, uh, going to rescue some of those cars. So if you can, if you if you can, you need to stay at home. Do not come out here. It's pretty bad. The rain has not ceased to stop since we've been out here. I'm soaking wet. My pants are drenched right now. Guys, we are in Youngsville right now. Uh, on Iberia Street. Uh, the rain is coming down pretty heavy and as you can see it is flooded really bad around here. It looks like I'm standing in the middle of a river. It looks like I'm standing in the middle of uh, some type of lake. It, the, the water is really bad here. You can't even really see the streets around this area. If you take a look you can see uh, le there are lots of mobile homes in the area and the water has pretty much taken over uh, all their driveways, their grass, uh, pretty much almost coming up to the houses. The houses are sitting up uh, a little bit so it doesn't look like the water has gotten into their houses, but they definitely can't get in their cars and leave and go anywhere. And so, it's a bad, bad time to get on the road anyway. Uh, you, it's best for you to stay inside. Uh, state police has issued an alert. They, they want everyone to stay in their homes, stay off the roads if you can, unless there is uh, there's an emergency. The best thing to do right now is to stay uh, inside, hunker down, um, and, and hopefully that electricity is still on. Hunker down and stay in your homes. Now, it's raining, pouring down uh, pretty hard right here, and that's pretty much on and off. And right off West Pinhook Road, and as you can see, uh, the, this neighborhood here is still flooded. Uh, looks like uh, in its deepest part uh, right here in the area that we are in, looks like maybe about a foot, and a foot or a foot and a half um, high uh, of water and of course uh, this water uh, is pretty much all over the neighborhood uh, in this area uh, maybe about two two, three blocks uh, down that way. Um, if you just kind of take a look, you can see uh, the water is pretty much covering all the streets, but it doesn't look like uh, it's in anybody's houses as of now, which is a good thing. Um, looks like the water has receded uh, a little bit so far, but not exactly sure uh, how much uh, it has receded over the past uh, few days now. Guys, not looking very good out here this morning. Um, of course, where I'm standing, you can see um, it's all flooded around this area. Uh, the water is up to almost the top of my boots which is pretty much up to my shins right here and uh, pretty much looks like if I go any further uh, down this way uh, it'll get much deeper and it'll probably pass up uh, my knees so uh, not looking very good here water looks like it's getting it's got into some people's houses um, and if you look down this road this entire roadway uh, leads all the way to I-10 this road of course North Parkinson Avenue LA 13 uh, which leads up to I-10 water all the way down which is why I-10 of course is close um, and so of course this is why police are, regi are um, urging residents rather uh, to not drive this roadway if, if not possible but we're seeing um, lots of trucks and lots of bigger bigger cars kind of taking advantage of this and driving those roadways because they can but it's ur they're urging residents not to so that this water doesn't push into people's houses like the one you can kind of see behind me and every time uh, a car passes that water does push into that house behind me and of course uh, not looking good here in Crowley Louisiana at least where we are on North Parkinson Avenue. Now, of course, we were on the street just a little while ago, but now we have actually got uh, came into the uh, shopping center. Coming here, the water uh, got really, really high, almost a waist deep, uh, probably five deep. If you just take a look down at my boots, you can see how high the water is right here, and I just, just kind of yeah, there's lots of water in my boots already, so that's how high the water is. And uh, just coming this way, uh, the water is, I would say, maybe maybe three three feet high, three and a half feet high. It's uh, really high in this area. And uh, if you just kind of take a look um, at the stores in this area, um, those stores, of course, yeah, definitely have some water in them. Um, uh, Stage definitely has some water. And it looks like the stores don't have as much water, but it looks like uh, maybe about a foot, maybe maybe less, maybe half a foot of water uh, in those stores. So certainly uh, want to be careful if you are in this area. Don't, don't want to drive if you're in this area. Uh, police are urging people not to drive in these areas. But of course, we're still seeing people uh, coming through these roadways. Uh, of course, this water is pushing 
more water into the homes and the businesses in this area. Now it's drizzling very lightly out here and it's actually been doing that for the past 10 minutes. It hasn't, hasn't really picked up, but I'm assuming it's going to pick up. And of course, this rain, uh, this water has uh, probably risen just a little bit um, from yesterday. Water was all, all over. It's just, it's just a mess. It's a disaster. From riches to what seems to be rags. If you would have seen, I've got pictures of my house before, if you would have seen yeah, the way it yeah. was, I would never dream to see that it, it's, it, everything had to be gutted out. Wanda Baptiste says the road to recovery is unclear. Just, sometimes you don't even know where to start, so the start is cleaning up. To come at least four feet high because of the, the water, you notice where it stopped at, it went, it went over the electricals. Um, so it all had to be cut out. The cleanup, this is the cleanup. This was a pool of water. In here was a pool of water here. Um, all my laminate floors, I, I redid all my flooring. I have pictures before, it, it's all gone. It's, it's always full of water underneath. It was just full of water with it. We've got to throw everything out. Didn't it's so much? It's so much to do. So much. My utility room, same thing. It's just. It's a lot. Garage. Uh, so my husband. He had to take off from work so that way to try to get some things done. <laughs> see how high it was in the backyard? You see where the line is? That's how high it it received. It's one for the books. Baptiste says. Historic flood. <laughs> it's a historic flood because. 18 years I've been here, I never experienced this. And with a lesson learned. I'll know now whether it's a flood zone or not, I'll definitely have to get some kind of flood insurance, which nobody expected this at all. She's hopeful for better days ahead. Just pray and hope that we don't get this ever again. In Lafayette, Toy Thornton, Acadiana's KLAF News. Well, I'm here to help out my community. We're a part of Lake Arthur. Yes, it takes a village. We are all um, volunteers. We have lots of people from schools. We have kids, ages, um, different ages. We have people that have come from Lafayette, from Lake Charles. National Guard is here. To save a community. I'm on high ground right now, so I want to help everybody else out here in town. We are coming together as a community. We are bagging sand. We've been out here um, for two days and more plus. Lana Pearson and Melinda Sonier both live in Lake Arthur. They say the small town won them over. I love Lake Arthur. I wasn't born here, but I, I'm definitely a Lake Arthur person now. It's great Aww. people. Lake Arthur's a small town, but when people are in need, everybody's here to help. Now they're standing with their community, hoping that the very town that stole their hearts won't break them. Okay, we have a levee downtown. Um, it's close to the lake, and what we're doing is we're piling the sandbags on so the water can't seep through. This is your town. You don't, you don't want to see people's homes flooded. And so although this community is forced to leave the place they love, they're not going out without a fight. As long as they bring sand, as long as we have sandbags, and as long as we have volunteers, we're going to be out here. In Lake Arthur, Toy Thornton, Acadiana's KLAF News.